Hello. I just thought I would show you what I'm going to do with this cauliflower. Um, I've picked it this afternoon and I've got everything ready just so that you can see. I've got it all laid out here in the pan and I've got my garlic and I'm just going to sprinkle it, sprinkle it over. I think that was four cloves, four large cloves of garlic. And then I'll just set this down. I will sprinkle on some onion powder. Like, it, you don't have to measure. It's just whatever. That was a whole large head of cauliflower. And then, I forgot to mention my other videos. My other video. That I just drizzle it with oil. A lot of the oil just stays on the pan when you're done. But you just want it to be evenly coated. Without any bits of the cauliflower dry. Otherwise it doesn't really taste is good. But then you just mix it all up. All right. So it gets really even. I think I may have, it wouldn't have been maybe even two or three, probably more like three tablespoons of oil. I don't know, maybe it was, like, I can't imagine that it was four. There we go. Just rinse my hands. And I've got my oven preheated. Um, my oven's not very consistent. I think it's, it bakes around uh, 400, 400 for F or 200 C. But I'll just show you here. I put it in the oven and it just bakes there for maybe a good 30 to 40 minutes. And I usually take it out halfway through and just kind of flip everything over because the bottom will burn. And you just want it to kind of be caramelized and crispy, not all on the bottom. Well, if you flip it, it won't burn it'll just be caramelized and crispy kind of everywhere um yeah i hope you try it i'll try and get a shot after it comes out oh i forgot to tell you i forgot to put on the salt so i will take it out and put some salt on and then show you the final product all right so i'm going to take this out now see it starting to brown a little bit um, and you could even let it go a little longer than that <laughs> you're keen yeah <laughs> um, sometimes I'll just use tongs to make sure that all of the pieces that were touching the pan are now not touching the pan so that a different part of the cauliflower cooks down um, but yeah that's all you do
go. It's looking really good. So we'll just put that in for probably another 20 minutes. Okay, so I think it's done. And this is what it looks like now. Oh, you're going to make it double it's then. all sizzling, oh. soft, caramelized, salty, kind of. It has a sweet sort of a caramelized flavor, simply because that. it's been like dehydrated and concentrated. That's not focusing. Anyway, I hope you try it. It's really good. <laughs> We're going to eat now. Bye-bye.